Hey guys, so today is the day. Um, usually whenever I go shopping, I definitely want to make sure that my fridge is clean. So today you're going to get to see me do that. Organize and clean my fridge. Okay guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome to my channel. My name is Bo. I hope you stay here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. So today is something that people always put aside, which is tackling the fridge. But me, I'm that type of person that loves, loves to keep my fridge clean. When I go shopping, I definitely want to make sure my fridge is clean before I go shopping. So that way when I come back to bring the groceries, I can put those in because sometimes you have things that are outdated in that fridge and we're all guilty. I'm definitely guilty of that because definitely I would say that keeping your fridge clean will save you tons of money. You can go ahead and see what you have in there first and then things that you already have, you won't buy it a second time and things that are rotten and you that can go you ahead need. and replace it. So. Just tune in some more and you will see me clean that fridge and tackle it down. Thank you so much for watching and let's go get into that fridge. Okay guys, so this is how my fridge is looking at this time. It is looking uh, very bad. <laughs> I have things all over the place and we just have got to get all of these things out and organized and clean. So the next thing that I will do is I will take everything out of the fridge completely so that I can see what I have to work with. I just line everything on the counter, but take everything out. I mean, so that way you can see what is uh, salvageable the next thing you're gonna do is take a plastic bag and throw everything that needs to be thrown out and throw them in throw them away so and then I will take my warm water my green works um, dish soap and I will put baking soda in there that's my solution that I would use to deep clean my fridge and this is just how I use it to clean everything in there so as you can see everything is clear cleaned out of the fridge and I will get to work and scrubbing with my solution and the warm water helps to break things down and my baking soda helps to get scrubbing and without scratching the glass that's in my fridge I absolutely love doing this it's actually worked really well for me and um, if it's really really dirty then I would use alternate um, cleaning solution but this is works perfectly fine the next thing I'll do is I will take out the drawers and clean those out with warm water and soap as well I also would take the next thing I would do is to clean all the pockets down give them a good scrub get everything all the nooks and cranny in there that is needed to get cleaned um, the next thing I would do is get my paper towel and I will line each pocket with that and this helps if anything leaks it will be caught by the paper towel that's in each of the fridge pockets I love doing this okay guys so I am done with tackling my fridge and cleaning it you saw me cleaning it out and this is that's what I normally do so let's go ahead and look in and see the finish clean fridge or like I always say finish cleaning the finished product so up here on this shelf guys it looks like I don't have a lot of groceries but trust me I don't like to bombard my fridge I want to see what I have and it is enough for me for the week, a week and a half too. So up here I keep all my almond milk and this is that um, coconut water that me and my daughter loves. And this is um, the whipping cream that I just got. I keep some water in here cold, although this is just for guests because we like to drink ours room temperature and I like to drink my water room temperature. Down here as you can see I've cleaned everything out and it's all clean, um, all the whipped cream this uh, pico that I just got some butter cilantro which we use a lot and we have our eggs we kind of keep it nearby because we use it and there's some more back there down here I am from the islands guys so I like to keep my seasonings these are like our mixed seasonings we call it sofrito and I love it so and this is my husband's beer back there and for the kids so they can have easy access to their drinks they have their little fruit drinks and other little things that they grab to snack on with veggies they will grab these little single serve ranch dressing so they can take that with lunch and then of course they have their pouch their apple peach you'd have thought my kids was very tiny but they love their little things to pack this makes it so much easier they don't need a spoon so they have that and you guys have seen me haul this in my video 
These are their drinks that they drink for in the morning, which they really, really love. And I love to see where I can look into my fridge, guys, as you can see. And then down here, it's not much more so frito. Like we keep different kinds here. And then down here, and that's actually a spice right there. So um, I'll probably talk about it more in my videos. But this is weird. I know for some people, they keep their onions and everything out. Some of it, guys, when I use it a lot, because we're from the island, we like to keep our onions in here so they can last longer but we will go through it we'll definitely go through the onions so that's that we just keep it in the fridge and i know some of you guys are going to ask me some questions about it but that's how we do it um down here in this drawer all of our this these are like the bacon bits it says to refrigerate after opening we keep that here with some of like my husband's um snack here his specialty cheese gouda and then um, my kids lunch and meat for lunch I keep some vegetables in here which I don't have that much right now but um, keep those in here but at least my drawers are clean and some more lunch meat in here so I got these little compartments to keep them in that they won't fall all over the place so I got that in there and then of course until I get some meat to cook for now my husband has his beer down here and we keep our lumberjack sausages here so that's it for that side and it, like i said it seems like my fridge is definitely empty but trust me this is enough and over here on this side of the pockets guys you saw that i definitely line my pockets with paper towel i love to do that because if anything leaks then it can catch it with the paper towel after i've done after i'm done cleaning some cheese and just miscellaneous stuff up here and then yes we are a cheese eating family. I don't particularly eat cheese because I'm lactose intolerant and allergy. So I just have my, they have all the different types of cheese here. And these are cheese that we just purchased. And then we keep a couple of condiments up here. I wipe them down before I put them back into my clean fridge. Down here, the same thing. Like I said, we're from the islands. This is a big, huge um, bottle of our West Indian hot sauce and yeah more things here and then whenever we go out this is like maybe a good tip for you guys whenever we go out to like a fast food restaurant we keep the sauces in like a ziploc bag if it's too full for that that means we don't need any more we just toss it out and we use our capers and stuff like that and my organic lemon lime juice pure lemon juice i'm sorry keep that there below it's clean our salsa um brown sugar barbecue sauce this taco bell sauce that we have here some more cheese and this moscato wine little thing there sometimes we use um and of course more beer here because we just bought a box and then my mojo for my seasoning and that's it honestly guys we don't utilize so much into the fridge this is how the fridge looks it is clean and so i will also show you how i organize my freezer because my freezer was already clean but I said let me finish and show you guys how I do that this is my freezer of course this is our little ice maker and everything like that that big huge piece of so the reason why I love this fridge is because I can get a big huge box like this of the pizza and I can stick it right here on the side and it won't take up any space these are my other condiments here that I've had um, that I just purchased is my veggie burger and black bean burger and these are things that I get to quickly um, these are all of my frozen berries and stuff that I have here strawberry raspberry organic whole strawberry in the back there and blueberries as well and this is just a sliced um, strawberries that we tend to use um, and keep here and under here is where I keep all of my vegetables I have this nice um, basket that I found I think that one was in Marshall's and I love it because I can keep all of my vegetables here and my fries that I just purchased my waffle fries I have my edamame my chopped kale and spinach is all back there and then my kids really don't eat this but this is like when guests come over like my nephew and stuff this is um it's pizza and then they have those Tostino pizzas back there as well 
Um, and then of course, like I said, we're from the island, so I have my maduros, and these are like the sweet fly, uh, sweet ripe plantains. We love that, so we keep that. And then down here, I put all my kids' breakfast stuff, which is all of their waffles, and then this is like the garlic Texas toast we keep there. And down here, I keep this whole entire compartment for my meats. So you can see my ground meat, my chickens, pork, whichever is kept down here. So it's no problem. So, and then on the side pocket, it's not much. I keep all my little ice packs in here, like that, to put for my lunch boxes and stuff like that. And uh, down here, some lunch meat. If it's we're not using it, I don't want it to go to waste. We go ahead and freeze it, and that's what's here. And there's nothing down here because, of course, I still need to get some more produce, but I'm fine with it because my entire freezer is clean and there's nothing, you know, I can see everything. That's what I love about the fridge is to see it. One last thing that I like to do is to get a fresh box of Arm & Hammer um, baking soda, open that up, and I label it here with the date, and I'll put it in my fridge to keep my fridge fresh. This lets me know that I change it within 30 days. So this is what I like to do. I'm gonna put this back here. This is it with my fridge and cleaning my fridge. I hope this gives you some tips and will help you as well when cleaning and organizing your fridge. And I really appreciate you watching. So go ahead and subscribe and I can't wait to see the next video. Bye-bye.